Aries, Ashe, Obatula, Ashe, Nila Hotep, Ashe, Anu, Ashe, Hata, Ashe, Apollo, Ashe, Da, Ashe, Zaka, Ashe, Shango, Ashe, Makali, Ashe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yo, get the tape. That's what okay. I got to say. Get peace, peace, peace. Yeah, get the Wait, tape. Get, get the tape. tape. Yo, what'd you think, man? Oh, yeah, that was off the hook, yo. You know, we got to do it like this all the time. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right. Yo, Doc, what'd you think about that lecture? Yo, I need five hours of that. I need more of that, son. <laughs> this is crazy, right? I, I need more, yo. All right, cool. My man, my man. Yo, that was beautiful. Earl, what you talk about I'm that? Right. It was beautiful, man. I can't. It was really nice. I enjoyed it. Really did. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got to bring it back, you man. I will, man. Yo, Rich, Big Rich, what's up, baby? What's going on, Yo, what you thought about that, man? It was crazy, straight boy, straight kid. I smell it for the 2000s. Yo, that was off the hook, man. What you thought, Big Bro? It was crazy. It was sick, man. Just dropping the reels. Yeah, it was it was heavy, man. Dropping the reels. All right, all right. Yo, I'm going to have this tape Wednesday, man. Please, this going to be on the opening, man. Yeah. Man. The lecture. Very good. Excellent, man. Yeah, excellent, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's classic Bobby. Right on the money, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I had to say Wednesday for you, bro. Okay. Bro, right. what you think, man? It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it was crazy, nah. man. <laughs> all right, nah. all right. Hey, right, what'd you think, sis? What'd you think about that one? I think it was absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Stop. No, it wasn't. It was off the hook. Yeah. 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 All right, all right. And I'll be back. Yeah, to the the yeah switch it. Don't all right, yo, what'd you yeah. think about that, man? Bobby is crazy, man. We're going to get with you, man, for, for the t-shirt. I will. All right, peace, bro. She missed this. Oh, man, I'm going to chew her up, so fast. She missed food. This she was the best one we had in a minute, though. Straight to the point. Straight to the next one. Yeah, he's going to be next. Dr. Africa on the TV. What do you think about that? Explosive interview for Bobby Hennett. Doing it only like him and could do it. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going in. I'm going in. Even that dynastic thing is something that is, is something that's late. It's something that is late. Uh, um, yeah, and, and, uh, uh, something that's, that's, that's late, no. And all, uh, yeah, um, yeah. Um, give me um, something else I want you to get. Yeah. Um, this is, uh, I'm going to go into this card. It's a death card. Um, this... I, what I'm saying here is this. It doesn't really matter based on what name or energy that you're going to uh, call on this it, in. It, these are coming from Burgess Osiris book, which is probably his best, one of his best books, um, is the Osiris book, the two volumes. Uh, uh, e. Wallace Burgess book, um, Osiris, the Egyptian Resurrection. And they have these particular boats. These are boats of power or centers of power when we go into this thing, or energy or, 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 or power when we go into this thing today, that things that you need to call on as far as forms of warfare. So we're going to go into a lot of, of things that we can do at this particular time. There was a, there's a magical period that has now been resurrect, resurrected, and you can tap into the magic but we have to train the people on how this is done on the way you're going to tap into that particular magic. You, the way you're going to tap into that particular magic. And so this is, this, is, this is very key on how we're going to do that. So what we're going to do is get some power and some energy. I'm going to call on the, um, as usual, we'll give the, uh, the guards their energy and their power. I should have got a glass and gave them some drink too, but I just spit it. I want to give the, the, the gods or the entities their power um, so that they can um, come in and bring a certain energy to the room and all, uh, you know, uh, certain energy to the room. Um, very few people pour libations, I notice. Uh, I notice. Now, yesterday I went up to Harlem and I did a lecture, did a little thing standing up, standing up on the, out there on, in front of the mart, you know, right across from... Um, the Apollo Theater, and, ball, and, and about 8 o'clock, I was extremely tired. I was like, what the devil is going on? I was wondering why I was tired and stuff. But what happened was is 
when I went up there, I had to use my own energy. And although I did speak for about three hours on the street, I had to use my own energy. You see what I'm saying? And that's, I rarely do that because I always pull libations. So you use the energy of the spirits. And that's the reason why uh, we can go for long hours at a time. Uh, you know, but it's, uh, these are things that we're going to have to really tap into. You see what I'm saying? Take, for instance, um, um, there's no faking the funk now. There's a realm of asset that is now completely taking over the earth. That realm. It's a whole feminine realm that is completely taking over the earth. And if you, and, that, and which is a form of Mayotte, the wing, the Mayotte. And so therefore, leaders, certain leaders that is in the old patriarchal paradigm, including especially black leaders, are black people because they carry a little more energy and they are relevant, they are more relevant to the Mayotian realm. So in order to, en energy has to be balanced a certain way. What's that? Oh yeah. Energy has to be balanced a certain way. Not illusion. So you can have a certain amount of energy. So therefore, if you got black people acting a fool, you see what I'm saying? Or uh, faking the funk, or uh, dealing with the old paradigm, now that's on the way out. That's why you have several leaders falling by the wayside unprotected. Because they're outside of the banner of the incoming current or the current that has actually established itself. In this particular case, it is the Mayotian current. You see, so this is why you would see a brother like Dr. York in jail and locked down with 130 years. You see what I'm saying? Now, spite what all the people because see, uh, we, we don't need to be funny with this foolishness now. Um, before he went to jail, he was the Messiah for a great deal of people. You see what I'm saying? Let's tell it like it is. You know, several books on why he's the Messiah. I have some. I think I got one up here talking about all of this. And faking the funk, putting your face on the face of Osiris and dealing with a certain amount of energy, which you can do, but when the white boy roll, your shit got to be legit. And when you come, your shit, you can't be false. You can't be faking the doggone funk. You can't say you are the Osiris, the Jesus. You see what I'm saying? The Mark D, the Melchizedek. Now, I'll give you an example. Now, he's the Melchizedek and all these things. Now, all of a sudden now, because the followers don't know where to turn, all of a sudden it's like, um, uh, brother, brother called me to, oh, brother. Yeah, some, some brother uh, wrote into this, the, the website that we got at the Arkansas down there because I, there's, uh, you can uh, log on to Arkansas. So it was serious times and sign up to go on the website. And I have a, a little small website that I answer a lot of much, a lot of uh, questions and stuff. So one brother, um, you know, for people daily. So one brother called in, you know, you black leaders, you know, especially you brothers in the metaphysics and stuff like that. No, you know, in so many words that we're not supporting Dr. York and, you know, and I want to know something because Bobby, you know that uh, our black leaders, that the government has always come after our black leaders. I'm like, hold on, hold on. Hold on, stop right there. I'm saying, no, hold on now. Before he went to prison, he was the Messiah. He was Melchizedek. He was Osiris. Now since he in prison, your mind can't justify that. Now you done relegated him back down to a black leader. It's a difference. The government comes after, oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, hold on now. This is the man with the plan and nobody else got no knowledge and no wisdom because he's devoured in origin from the planet Ritz. Let's just drop on it how it is. Now all of a sudden, because he's in jail, got 130 years, and the spaceships didn't show up, he's now a black leader. And now I'm wrong 
for not speaking out against it. I'm saying, no, I'm not speaking out against it because I never supported a person calling themselves an entity from the planet rich who grew up in Marcy goddamn projects. <laughs> right here in New York City. But all of a sudden, he from the planet rich. Now, I'm like, so one brother, um, one brother called said, oh, brother, um, uh, we are getting together with a petition. We're going to try to put some stuff together to get our brother out of jail. I said, oh, brother, I want to help him so much. Let me tell you what I propose. <laughs> Let's go past going to petition these crackers down in Georgia. Let's call on some ambassadors or some... Uh, 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 let's call on some ambassadors and some high prince or priests from the planet Ritz. And let's get into the planet Ritz. And then we can get the planet Ritz to come in and blow up the jailhouse and get him out of there. Then all of a sudden the brother got real quiet. I said, no, nigga, we got to deal with this. So, no, he didn't say this, say he's not a Malcolm. He's not a Martin. He's not a Dr. Ben. He's not anybody. You see what I'm saying? It's working in here. No, he is from the planet Ritz. This is what he said out of his head to black folks in the 20th century, late 20th century, early 2000. All right? So I'm going to go with, with the man that is locked up based on his pedigree and what he says he is. So I don't want to hear nothing about going to no lawyers and going to no protests. No, let's deal with the planet Ritz. And let's get the shams, that's what he calls his spaceships. Let's get the shams to come in and blow up some stuff. You see what I'm saying? Because I know that the Mariachi and principle is, is out for fucking charlatans. See what I'm saying? Now... The people, the followers are disenfranchised now. And this nigga is lying to the last day, telling people that when he gets sentenced, if they sentence him, or the day he gets sentenced, the ships is coming. And they, last week they sentenced his ass, and they got niggas walking around New York looking for the ships to come. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So my point here is, my point here is, you got to be real. You know, oh, Ace Rap Brown, well, oh, they locked him down. Ace Rap Brown had the black woman under the veil down in Atlanta and some of the biggest dope dealers in the whole southern hemisphere. Tell the truth to shame the devil. And, and Ace Rap Brown and that group killed a roster brother, shot this brother in the head, and the roster firing community mourned. I said, man, who, who was this cat they killed? Them people mourned and them people cried. And I said, you know, when you get this much black people with this much agony, it sets up a certain energy. And as a result, he on lockdown. So my point here is, is you got to come correct. You can't make claims on shit for self-grandizement. You see what I'm saying? And you ain't got it checked by it being the case in this particular in this particular. And me and the sister Kendall from Long Island standing on the front porch, and they didn't see me or her. Rolled again about two months later and got the wrong street. And they used to do this to Marie Laveau. They'd come to arrest the Marie Laveau down in New Orleans several times and couldn't find the building, couldn't find the house. Couldn't find her estate. You see what I'm saying? So the point I'm trying to make here is we are in a Mariachian current. And you can't be faking the funk no more because the people are going down, especially the patriarchal current. Now, hell, this, whenever you saw the Catholic priest getting revealed, it was time to get straight. See what I'm saying? And my point here is that you cannot put something over not the black people out in the street, because that, that's the dead person. They got the preachers for all of that. But you can't put nothing over on people that's searching for consciousness, and they come up in your stuff looking for enlightenment, and you're going to come and say you all of this, 
That's the, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, now see Freeman L, as you know, one of the elders that's, that's, been, that, that, uh, uh, that's been on the scene for a couple of years, used to say that one thing that is not forgiven in the spirit world, most of, most of the things that you think of as forgiven, really they, the spirit world don't even deal with uh, uh, what you do morally. It's, it's, that's such a, such a mundane and political phenomenon that it's not even on that world, on that, on that realm. But they said one thing, that, that, that one thing, you can kill somebody. And, hey, you see what I'm saying? You, you might get a star for killing somebody. <laughs> Taking them out of this. But one thing in the spirit realm that is not tolerated, if you stand in, in the way of a person's enlightenment, and there's a reason for that, because they got a certain amount of people down here that has to be enlightened, because they got so many people that are not enlightened. So the ones, with the, so those ones that their souls were at a certain level to be enlightened, and they came back to be the ones down here, because there's got to be a certain percentage of people that's enlightened, and those particular ones, you cannot stand in their way. But you see, you cannot stand in their way. So some of these people will wake up, and they'll go for enlightenment. And they'll meet all kind of charlatans and stuff like that that'll stand in their way. And they say, that is the greatest sin ever. It's standing in the way of a person enlightenment in the particular aspect of leading people down the wrong path. You see them leading people down the wrong path. You see what I'm saying? Standing in the way of enlightenment and stuff. So you got cult groups, not a cult, cult groups, they're standing in the way from people getting a certain amount of enlightenment, and they are in the particular aspect of they line up with the powers that be. And those powers that be, they say that the intruders, I'll pull this libation in a minute, they said that the intruders, which is a person that is, in, that is not of an original source, but is intruding as an imposter, masquerading as something, but wasn't there in the beginning. The intruders that they call them in the Kabbalah, you see what I'm saying? They are, they, they cause an incontinuance of learning. They cause an incontinuance of learning. That means that they're standing in the way of somebody's enlightenment. And that in continuance of learning, they say, for the intruders cause luxury. See what I'm saying? Shop till you drop. Shoot. Go out there on Saturday and see how all the people walking around. You see what I'm saying? So the intruders, the intruders um, cause an in continuance of learning. So therefore, if you are a person... If you are a person that's standing in the way of a person in enlightenment because you're taking advantage of the situation that they are learning with, and you're taking, of the, uh, taking advantage of the situation, then, then, uh, then, at this particular time, you will be reprimanded by it. And that's one of the greatest sins ever. That's one of that's one of that's one of the great, greatest sins ever. On, if you want to say this particular sin, because basically, the, uh, basically, uh, believe it or not, um, the universe uh, don't give a damn about insignificant people. You really don't even exist when it comes to the universe. You only exist when you tap into those particular sources. We'll get deeper into that particular aspect, or uh, when you, when you tap into that particular sources and stuff like that. You see, so, and we will deal with that now, but I want to make this clear. Anybody got any questions on these things right now? You know, speak, we, you know, we family, we don't have to be silent about things. Because my point here is, is all of a sudden now, you know, before that, he was the man from the planet Ritz. And the shams was coming and all this. Now, all of a sudden, because he's in jail and got 130 years, he's been reduced back down to a black leader. And so I'm supposed to go and rally behind. No, fuck that. You know, give me the, no, he's supposed to be the Messiah. Tell the niggas from the planet Ritz to come in and save him. 
Now, I know magic work. There's, I got a friend named Yusuf that lived in a little small town in Tennessee. He used to live in Atlanta for about 10 years ago. And, and he got in that jail and started doing and, and he started doing them with the Wazifas. Because all religions have a certain form, form of magic. And he started doing those Wazifas or whatever in the Islam, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. And a damn tornado came through the jail and knocked down the jail. They said, they said let that nigga out. You see. So I know you can do these things. I know you can do these things. You see. And all, you know what I'm saying? I know you can do these things. So my point here is a homeboy's up in there and all, it's because let me tell you something. Don't let nobody fool you. You can't you can't believe in nothing on a high spiritual level and a nigga get 130 years and he at this particular time. You see what I'm saying? And he's supposed to be on a spiritual path. No, homeboy ain't on no spiritual path. Homeboy was fronting. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying that he didn't lift some of you people up to a certain doggone level, but you got to understand you followed him. They don't even come with this black leader stuff. And I'm saying this type of stuff to show you the importance. You see what I'm saying? To show you the importance on how you're dealing with stuff, how they're bumping people off. And this, this my and realm actually started it. You, you might as well say this thing started in 2000. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm just trying to say it's the same thing. You, we, we, you cannot fake the funk anymore. And you know what? Rescue me if I'm wrong. Just look at people that you know and people that needed their comeuppance, as we call it, or somebody who needed something, you know, has been fucking up a long time. And ask yourself, there's a lot of reciprocity and retribution started coming on these people. People you know in your life, going through hell. That's because we're in that particular cycle. Uh, they talk uh, in that particular cycle in Europe, but they, they talk about the rise of Olo Kuhn. And when Olo Kuhn rises, the undercurrent thought rises and you can't front no more. Well, it's the same thing. You can't, you can't have deception in arterial motives. You see what I'm saying? Arterial motives. So we're now talking about, at this particular time, the good part about that is it's not necessarily the chastisement because that particular realm, the assets realm or the Mayatian realm is now ushered in. Now is the time to use magic. It's the only thing going now is magic. But there's a way you have to do what you want. You have to... You have to, uh, we'll go into that now, and I'm getting ahead of myself, but now is the time to use a lot of magic. Now is the time, now is the time to use a lot of, lot of, use a lot of magic. Um, 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 like I said, last time, 100 people saw me the last time I was here. And, uh, and, 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 so, so, and there's a tape that you need to get. How many people saw the love tape? Yeah, it's dynamite. It's dynamite. People, shoot. Hell, every woman see that thing be like, oh, fuck this. <laughs> One woman saw it and walked in and told her husband, God damn it, I want a divorce. <laughs> One woman called me and said, oh, that nigga in trouble now. He gonna have to come with it. This love tape is called Babylonia, the mysteries of sex and love. Love and, well, no, no, what is it? The rise of Babylonia. The metaphysics and mystery of love and sex. Uh, uh, we put this thing together the last time I was here. And I'm telling you, it's got to be one of my greatest masterpieces. And we both, both people, Sagittarius, worked on this thing. And I knew when the entity starts trying to stop us from making it, it took us, what, seven hours, huh? Nine hours to do, what, five and my stuff usually flow. I said, wait a minute, we own to something here. We're going to go into some of this stuff also today because this is very pertinent. And uh, very, very, very pertinent and stuff. So we did that now. I talked about the coming of a sister that was, uh, you know, a sister that was in my life and all at this particular time. That's the sister down here with all the colors on and stuff. I made sure she wore all them colors so she couldn't cloak herself this time. And shit, yeah. She's real magical. She's been in this thing for a minute and all, and believe me, shoot, she came down, so I moved her ass in. <laughs> and she done transformed the, transformed the house. 
transform my family. You know, I've called myself cleaning up. I didn't know that a man's clean is different than a woman's clean. I didn't know this. You know, a man clean, we sweep around. A woman make you move shit out, get all up under. So I called myself coming into a house that was spotless. But yet it somehow took her a week when she got there to clean my house. You see, and the energy changed up and all this type of stuff, you know, with the, with, with the particular energy and stuff like that. And she's real magical on the particular aspect of, of, of her spirituality and stuff. So um, so stuff is transforming on the Mayatian aspect in this type of thing. So I told them, um, you know, so I got to live up to what I told the people. If I don't love her completely, you know what I'm saying, uh, you can you have to chain whip my ass. <laughs> So she said, remember now, she said, we're going to have to stop by and get a chain somewhere, nigga. You know, so. But anyway, so that, that's, that's some things that, that, that has happened. But you must get this tape. Because, and we're going to go back into this thing. We're going to recap some things. But you got to get this tape. It is, it's a complete masterpiece. Just the introduction got people mesmerized. Got people must mesmerize. And I want to say this also, too, too, because, see, a lot of people are reluctant to even do things like that, especially a lot of sisters and all are reluctant to even view things like this and stuff because the simple fact they figure they don't have a mate. What's the point? There are alternatives. We're going to go into that particular aspect and all. For some of you that don't have a mate, some of you can get, but some of you that don't have a mate and find it hard to get a mate, it don't matter. It don't tell what age you are, whatever. There's alternatives as far as you corresponding on the love realm of the angelic realm. Well, there's brothers out here. You're just looking for a physical brother. You see what I'm saying? And sometimes they don't pull up to the plate. Now, we're, we're going into African science, so we're not dealing with stuff right here. That We're dealing with some stuff that is um, uh, 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 some stuff to make you feel a certain way. No, we deal with studying this particular information and getting results, and we got a lot of bibliography and things that you need to deal with in this particular time. But these angelic mates, our spiritual mates, are not only just for love making, because they, they pull up to the plate on that now. And I got sisters testifying to it, but also for healing and finances and all those types of things. So let me pull the libations, and so we can get into some of this particular science. Y'all all right? Yeah, this particular science and stuff, and all, yeah. And, um, uh, uh, we got a lot of bibliography. We got a lot of bibliography, and we got a, a lot of things to, to assist you. Um, now you understand why I give, some people say you love all them books. You understand why I give people things that they can use outside of myself because, on the other hand, I don't want you, your salvation, tied to Bobby Hemet and how I misled you when the only thing I ever tell you to do was to study. You see what I'm saying? So this is, this is why we give these same things because the cult leaders are on their way out. You see what I'm saying? are on their way out. Now, the preachers, that's a different story. They belong to another system. They are under the banner of the existing European powers that are on their way out, but that's a part of the capitalistic system that the preachers are under. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm talking about a consciousness. See, they understand that there's got to be a certain amount of people on the planet, majority of them dead. But then there has to be a certain amount of people that has to receive this vital information. And when those brothers and sisters that come out that's supposed to give this particular information mislead people, that is the one that the spirit realm say, no, your ass got to go. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? The other thing is an invention of white America, the black preacher. You know what I'm saying? That's an invention of white America. And patriarchal, imperialistic, world-dominated system of the powers, a power elite, Illuminati. And they go under that particular banner, you see. But other ones, when you have a person say, I want to step out from the traditional 
religions and I want to get enlightenment, then when they come to certain people, you got to come correct. You see what I'm saying? So it was always a hands-off policy because I'm, it's not no big deal. But look, I started lecturing one month. I had people saying they're ready to follow me the next month because our people will do that. Our people will follow anybody. You see? Why? Because we have a, people have an overall sickness. They have to be a part of a group. You know what I'm saying? So the first thing I hear people right now, yo, brother, um, that's why the Spirit told me and my, 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 my youngest brother, they said, yo, we need you to do some classes. And my youngest brother was like, the Spirit was like, told him, uh-uh, don't do no classes. I'm like, well, why not? Hell, I'm broke as hell. I need some money. <laughs> they don't do no classes. They said, because those, those Negroes are going to find a way to follow you through those classes. You see, through the class. So there's a reason why we do certain things and all, but you got to come correct on that particular aspect. But other than that, that's the only moralism there is. You see what I'm saying? The other stuff you too stuck in this thing is called compassion as a vice for kings and want to get into some of this type of thing. So I'm, a, I'm also going to deal with a lot of things that is off the offshoot because I, I noticed some things that is going on and we got to address some things uh, that is going on and all, but you not have to know a history on why we have to address these particular things. So we're gonna get into some things uh, before I go into some stuff. But we got a lot of good stuff, but we are mostly focusing on today techniques of high magic and things that you can actually do through the sexual energy or through the ritualistic energy, but you can't be scared. And we, we, we now stand at a crossroads right now that we can pretty much do any damn thing we wanna do. You understand what I'm saying? Any, anything we wanna do. Uh, you know, so we want to um, we we want to deal with those particular we want to deal with those particular things um, um, at a particular time. Um, um, so uh, um, I'm going to pull libation and we're going to get into some get into some particular science. This is a particular excellent glyph coming from England, uh, uh, coming from England um, that ex that that explains the power. This what you thinking is demonic is a form of the power. That we that 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 we possess, this woman with dreadlocks. So this is a form of spirit. Whenever you see the hieroglyph of the most vicious, hideous, monstrous-looking spirits that you have been trained to fear, that means in the ancient world that's the one that's the most potent. That's the bleach compared to the water. That's the gas compared to the milk. So these things here were later on misconstrued as being evil. But then again, what is evil? Evil just means primal. You see what I'm saying? Just, just, mean, just means primal. And so uh, we're going to get into this particular thing. Let me pull this libation and stuff. You know, so uh, this is some Paulo Viejo, which you can only find in, in New York and Chicago, um, which is excellent for the Paulo spirits which is some of the most powerful ones on the planet, um, the, the Palo spirits. So this is Palo Viejo, which is the Congo spirits, uh, which is the Congo spirits. And so I'm going to pour some libations to this, uh, you know, and then we're going to um, get this thing going to get some energy a certain way. So uh, let's do this. Um, this particular book, if you can get a hold to it, because what this is doing is it's tapping back into some leftover stuff from the Typhoon. This is pre-dynastic Egyptian. This is a book called The Seven Faces of Darkness, Practical Typhonian Magic by Don Webb. So what you want to do is you want to go on the website and get this particular information. Remember now, your Typhonian tradition predates your monumental, Kamite, monumental Egyptian tradition. Since 1907, a lot of particular information has been locked down after Gerald Massey went into the British Museum and drafted and basically came in and did a, a and, and, and drafted his self six volumes, Book of Beginnings, uh, uh, Natural Genesis, and Ancient Egypt, Light of the World. They locked down a lot of the pre-dynastic Egyptian aspect. Now, Dr. Ben talks about how they covered over 200 temples under the Aswan River based on the Aswan Dam from the 50s, built in the 50s, uh, 50s and 60s. Those temples were Typhonian temples. And a lot of 
It's still in print. The last list that I read was a lot of a lot of things coming from this particular book as far as um, a lot of names of the Typhonian aspect of things. So you want to go on and you want to get some of this particular info, uh, some of this particular information. Now I know that everybody got some form of finances that you need to work with. That's why I come with my bucket. But here's a book called Money Magic. Now you can't buy these in the regular Barnes and Nobles and Borders. That's why this one works. This is by Money Magic by Jade. Very good book. Anybody have any problem? Anybody got any financial problems? All right, here's a book called. I'm, I'm trying. I'm looking at you, motherfuckers. Like, am, am I in Beverly Hill? <laughs> <laughs> this book is called Money Magic by Jade. This is the one you want to get. Um, this is the one you want to get. It and, and all put out by Original Publications. You can go online www.originalpublications.com. Um, a lot of the botanicals and a lot of the, uh, you know, the people that sell the candles and a lot of that sell this particular book. It's an excellent book. This, 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 this is this is this is an excellent book. You see what I'm saying and all. You know what I'm saying. I had to resort to some stuff. I was so desperate, I put my damn address on the last two fucking tapes and didn't get a piece of lint in the mail. <laughs> That's how bad it was. Um, but so I'm. <laughs> I like, oh man, I'm, I'm straight now. People gonna hook old Bobby up. Shit, didn't get a damn dime. This is an excellent book that you want to uh, deal with at this particular time. Um, 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 money magic. Not like I'm not gonna stop begging now. Shit, I worked hard for the last 12 years to bring you this information. Oh, gimmick. So I can make you, I can make you feel a certain way by telling you, you know, long as you believe in this and all that. But that don't hold no water. Now, first of all, let me explain this about the ancestral thing that you don't understand, which got out of hand. Because some of you all are praying to your ancestors, and them the same damn cutthroat, slack-ass niggas that was in the physical body, them the same, they're just as dumb as shit on the spiritual realm. Now, let's break, because we need to break some of this stuff down. Y'all all right? Okay. We know that the Africans used to deal with the ancestors. But over the course of millions of years or thousands of years, the concepts got muddled and flawed. The original concept of the Africans praying to the ancestors was not these niggas that's just walking around now one day drinking a cup of coffee and getting hit by a truck the next day, and then by them being out of the physical realm, you praying to these damn fool-ass niggas. It ain't talking about that. Try to understand history. The Egyptians say that they had 10,000 years of Camite history, or Egyptian history. They say, who used to rule before then? They say, that's when a whole bunch of gods used to rule. The mystery is that the gods that used to rule were the same Egyptians that were living that day. At the same time they said it, it's just that those gods took on a new existence because they became more encased into the physical realm, the physical body. So when they worshiped the ancestors at that time, they were worshiping the ones that were on a higher level that used to be their same kinfolks that didn't necessarily have the physical attributes as the later day Africans, Egyptians, and indigenous people being encased in the physical realm. The earth has various stages of history. You see what I'm saying? So these were the high gods which later on became in prison in the physical realm. Now, as times went on, the tradition, they started worshiping these same buffoons that 
was here yesterday and gone tomorrow and some of them is just as dumb as hell. Now let me explain what I'm talking about here because I'm not necessarily, um, we try to produce results. We try to produce results. And I, I, I cut it on. I, 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 I put it up. No, 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 no. I want to use the blackboard. Um, we try to produce results. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. I, I use this till it gets, you know. Now, I think they can see. The same pyramidal structure that you see in Tim, it also works as a form of initiation. Which means most people around here to show ancestors now, look, uh, ancestors now, when they die, most of them, the ones that's not enlightened, and most black people aren't, they are down here. You see what I'm saying? They are down here. So now, if you were trying to summon these fools for guidance, they don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. This is the same poking being eaten that was around before. <laughs> See what I'm saying? And you worshiping these because the concept of the history of the ancestors got muddled because after thousands of years, they forgot the high guys and started worshiping these buffoons. Now you also have some that's enlightened. And based, you know, and they can come here in the... Top one is this. We have very little people here. You, and, you see, and even here, most of the people are on the bottom. You see, so the ancestral energy of magic that was tapped into in the Camite or the African world has long been gone. There's some motherfuckers who can help you. You know what I'm saying? Who can help you? Now, every now and then you'll get somebody that's enlightened are an advanced soul, and those are the ones that you're supposed to contact. But not really from down the damn street. <laughs> are your fucked up grandmama, your granddaddy? This is no disrespect. These niggas are fools. Now, how do I know this? Because we're not dealing with, we're dealing, we're not dealing with, 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 with theory anymore. We have access to the spirit realm. So my grandmother, Tommy, as everybody in the damn family, died in 1990. She visited all of them. Always in their business. Been dead. Ain't never went nowhere. She just lost her physical body. But she can visit everybody but me. So I got a little, I'm like, damn, why you don't come see me? She said, I can't come up in your house because Wherever your consciousness is, this is my, my abode is up here. And the entity that I deal with, she has not initiated, because when she left the damn planet, she was a hog eater from Mother South Carolina. Or oh, she was a fancy school teacher. She was a big, oh, big time school teacher. You know what I'm saying? But that's not enough to elevate you to consciousness. You know what I'm saying? And she was all right for her day. You know what I'm saying? But the point I'm trying to make here is when she left the earth in 1990, her big time Miss, Miss Irene Shaw school teacher, that one shit on the level of enlightenment. She never knew any of this stuff here. So the point about it is that she's down here on the same realm that she left. So when they came to visit me, she couldn't come up in my thing because it's enlightened. Enlightenment. My, my two brothers are who are conscious but they don't have no altars, they don't have, they don't, they don't, they're not practitioners in the magic. They know the stuff and all, but they're not practitioners in this type of consciousness that I am. So therefore, she's able to permeate them and torment the shit out of them. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you got to understand there's different realms of some of these fools that's, that's, that's passed on because they dead don't necessarily, well, uh, well, death is a little better than where we are now. You know what I'm saying? You know, one wants to be dead. Like they say, uh, 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 pity any man who is not dead. You know what I'm saying? So that's a little step up. Now, she's cool now. She could be in simultaneous places at one time. 
You know what I'm saying? And I still got to catch the bus or the plane or something. You know, she can be on one part of the globe. She do know how to do that shit. She learned that shit fast. How to get out of the house. But the point I'm trying to make here is the whole ancestral thing. I want to put this on right here and stuff because uh, you got to be clear on this particular aspect. And uh, you can pray to all these niggas who you want. And some of these niggas be the, if that nigga didn't like you when they left, you fuck around be about to go to jail and pray to some of them niggas and they be done to help somebody. Send your black ass to jail. So be careful on the... Uh, don't put your trust in a nigga because he done lost his physical body. Although it is a lot better than what we are because we deal with love and death. You all right? All right, let's go on. So now going on...